In this uh, tutorial, we will look at how to determine D value, which is a characteristic of uh, microbial destruction during heating. So let's look at an example. Uh, we want to find out D value of a microorganism when the microbial suspension was heated at 120 degree Celsius. Uh, we have the time uh, from 0 to 12 minutes. Initially, the microbial population is uh, 10 raised to power 6 number of survivors, and uh, then that uh, population decreases uh, due to heating and due to uh, microbial destruction with 1.1 into 10 raised to power 2 at uh, 12 minutes. So there are two ways to uh, determine D value. The first uh, method is to use a semi-log paper. What we see here is a semi-log paper where the y-axis is labeled from 1, 10, 100, all the way to uh, uh, 10 raised to power 6. x-axis, which is the uh, regular scale, we have the time in minutes, and uh, it's from 0 to uh, 15 minutes. Then we uh, identify the uh, points on this uh, semi-log paper. Uh, as we have done here with these blue dots. And, and then we draw a straight line that uh, goes through these points. Now, the D value, as we recall from our previous tutorial, is the time for one log cycle reduction in the microbial population. So let's see for one log cycle reduction here from 100,000 to 10,000 we find that the D value is 3 minutes. Of course, we could have chosen any other log cycle reduction along this line, and we will get the same D value of 3 minutes uh, from this semi-log plot. The uh, second method is to use a spreadsheet. So let's use a Excel spreadsheet. And uh, the first thing, of course, we will do is uh, enter all the data in uh, columns A and B. Uh, so we have here uh, the numbers uh, that were given to us. Next thing we want to do is we want to convert the number of survivors uh, into log. Uh, and uh, we do that by adding another column, uh, column C. So we will enter the function uh, equal sign and then log and then in parentheses uh, the number from uh, column B. And that formula we will then paste into the remaining cells of that column. So what we see here is the column now, column C, uh, for log of the survivors. And uh, column A is the time. Next, we want to make a plot between data now in column C and column A. So first you select column A. And then keeping the control key pressed, on your PC, you again click on column C and that will highlight the data in column C. So this way we have both column A and column C selected. We will then insert a scatter chart. So we see here, once we click on scatter chart, we get a plot of log of the survivors versus time. Next, what we want to do is draw a line between those points and we will use the trend line feature and to do that we will click on any of the points on this uh, chart then press the right mouse key. By pressing that we will open uh, this uh, dialog box and we will select add trend line and with that, we get the uh, dialog box for trend line options. Uh, we will select linear because we want the straight line plot between our data. Also, we will click on display equation on chart as well as the checkbox for the regression coefficients. By doing so, we will get the uh, straight line plotted, uh, the trend line and uh, we have also the equation. Now in that equation we are interested in the slope. Note that we can 
obtain d value by taking the negative of the inverse of that slope value from this line. So note two things. We have to take a negative and the inverse of the slope. So we can click in any cell uh, to determine that value. We have equal sign, then the negative, and then 1 over, because we have to get the inverse, in parentheses, the slope from the trend line is minus 0 0.3306. So again, d value is the negative inverse of the slope value obtained from the trend line. That gives us then the value of 3.02 minutes. Note that this is very similar to the value we got earlier from the semi-log plot. Now, you may have a question that why on the spreadsheet did we use negative inverse of the slope? So, let's uh, draw here. We have a semi-log plot. We have log scale on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. And uh, we know that for one log scale reduction, we get the d value. So we have a, b, and c identifying the one log cycle reduction, and uh, b, c uh, gives us the d value. Now let's take a slope from this straight line anywhere else, and we will identify as e, f, g. Now the slope of the line is, as you know, is uh, rise over run. So the rise is EF and uh, the run is FG. So for these two similar right angle triangles, we can write AB over BC equals EF over FG. Now AB is log 1000, if we just look at a one log cycle reduction and we say that that one log cycle reduction is from 1000 to 100, we could select any other numbers too for log cycle reduction. But if we take uh, 1000 and 100, we have log 1000 minus log 100 divided by BC is the D value. And then we have EF over FG as the slope of that line. So that equals negative slope because uh, we have the line that is uh, sloping downwards. Uh, so EF, which was the rise, uh, will be a negative value. So it's a minus slope. And then we have log 1000 will be 3. Log 100 is 2. So we have 3 minus 2 will be 1. 1 over D equals minus slope. And we can rearrange these terms to obtain D as minus 1 over slope. So remember that if you use a spreadsheet and use a trend line to fit the data of log of survivors versus time, then the d value can be obtained from that slope of that line as minus 1 over the slope value.